I flew out here to Monaco to answer one of motorsport's biggest questions. And it all begins with these Tepro barriers and why every time we see a Formula One car crash into them, it takes a while to get racing again. So why is that? As a quick recap for those who don't know, Tepro barriers were introduced back in 2006. The aim was to simulate a typical belted tyre wall, which can absorb the incredibly fast speeds of a car, but removing the potential of the wall breaking and not being able to fully absorb the car's fast energy coming to a stop, which is exactly what happened back in 1999 to Michael Schumacher at Silverstone, whose incident broke through the tyre wall and straight into the Armco barrier and breaking his leg. And it's because of this incident that prompted the FIA Institute to begin their research, testing and development to create those tech pro barriers. Needless to say, the introduction of these was a success and now has become standard for any FIA Grade 1 circuits. Now, of course, when starting out, there were some teething issues, but over the last 10 years, the FIA Institute and Tech Pro Barriers have made massive strides in making the barriers more secure and being able to adapt with different configurations to suit different tracks. And although belted tire walls are still very much used at many circuits, the Tech Pro Barriers are there at the very front and in place where space and runoff areas aren't much of an option. For example, in Jeddah or in Baku and here in Monaco. But when we are referring to the Tepro barriers, there are actually two different types. The first is this red block made from a flexible polyethylene, also known as the absorbent block. These are usually positioned at the back of the pack and the inside is hollow, meaning it can crush in on itself, absorbing the car's G-force energy going into it. And in some cases, when the car is removed, the absorbent block can pop out again, but if it has a crack or rip in it, then that would need to be replaced. But the main area and the reason for this video today is this, the gray reinforced block. And this is the reason why red flag periods take so much time. And the reason for this is hidden under its thick polyethylene housing. Unlike the absorbent block being hollow, inside it is filled with injected flexible polyurethane foam. And in the middle, two large metal sheets made from steel to reinforce the barrier and to prevent penetration from a car. And to keep all these blocks attached to one another, three nylon strips will help dissipate that absorbent energy across all the barriers. So rather than one block on its own, it spreads through all the connected blocks. So let's imagine then that is the Monaco Grand Prix and the driver crashes into a Tech Pro barrier. Now the driver is absolutely fine, so what are the FIA needing to investigate within that barrier to make sure it's safe to go racing again? First is to check on those three nylon straps. These are needing to move freely within those two metal sheets to help dissipate all of that energy. Now, as these reinforced blocks are filled with that injected polyurethane foam, it makes it very hard to see if that metal has actually been penetrated. But that's also why the nylon straps are here. They can indicate if the metal has been bent or damaged as it wouldn't be freely able to move. So if any of the nylon straps don't budge, it then tells the FAA and the marshals that the blocks are needing to be changed. But when we talk about the nylon straps being freely able to move, that's just only when they're being checked on but during any sessions with cars out on track, those nylon straps are needing to be taut. So these nylon straps are secured tightly around a steel pole and is then strapped with a ratchet onto the Armco barriers. But with the nylon straps being so secured to the pole, how are they able to quickly release the blocks if they're needing to change them? Well, every 10 blocks, there is a tension block which has a cutout window. And in here, these keep the nylon straps as tight as possible or loosen them if they're needing to check the barriers for any damage and if they need to pull through the nylon straps if they're needing to replace them. And to do this, they have a little cutout window to make those quick changes. Now, these tension blocks also have injected foam, but only on the side that's facing the track. This way, the marshals and the FIA are able to make those quick changes. Now, it may seem like a simple process. However, as there are many checks they're needing to do with just a barrier alone, you can now start to understand why red flags might be called. A great example of this was from this year's Australian Grand Prix with Alex Albon crashing into those barriers. If you look closely, you can see the end cover of the temporary barriers has come off. So that means the marshals have to go through this entire process just to replace that end cap. And with Monaco specifically, you're looking at 1,500 blocks all around the circuit. So the next time you see a red flag going on during a race and you're wondering why it's taken so long, well, now you know. But just before we go, have you ever dreamed of visiting Monaco, walking around the famous street where racing icons have battled throughout the years? Well, what if I told you I could help you technically get there by using today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Their VPN service can digitally change your current location to another to help you access TV shows and films which are restricted in your own country. For example, at the moment in Monaco, did you know that you can watch The Godfather, but here in the UK you can't? So by changing your location and refreshing your internet browser, you now have full access as if you were in the principality from the comfort of your own bedroom. But Surfshark VPN isn't just limited to folk like us in the UK or for those in Monaco. Surfshark has over 3,000 servers across 100 countries, meaning you can unlock even more geoblock programs and services in different territories. Surfshark VPN also 
also keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. This means your personal data is protected from big companies or cyber criminals. And if you use my promo code MATTAMUS at checkout, you'll also get three extra months for free. So click the link in the description to find out more. Thanks ever so much for watching and subscribe if you're not already.